Whoa, crazy hair. Today we got a little treat. Uh, we got Grandpa's old encyclopedia. And then we're doing his little book. And then we're doing how to be a mindful drinker. We'll start with the encyclopedia. Random page. Here we go. I'm only going to do half because, you know, they're big pages, so. It is estimated that the committee saved the government hundreds of millions of dollars. This investigation first made the hitherto obscure Miseranian a national figure. Vice President and President As the Democratic Convention assembled in 1944, the big city bosses, Edward J. Flynn of New York City, Frank Hagg of New Jersey, Edward J. Kelly of Chicago, Robert Hannigan of St. Louis, convinced Franklin D. Roosevelt that Henry A. Wallace's radical pro-Russian sympathies would endanger the ticket in the South and in metropolitan areas. Roosevelt then wrote a letter to the convention suggesting Truman or Justice William O. Douglas as possible vice presidential nominees. The bosses referred, preferred Truman, who was nominated on the second ballot. When President Roosevelt died in, in April 12, 1945, Truman was sworn in as chief executive, asking newspaper friends to pray for me. He knew his limitations, especially since Roosevelt had not consulted him on major domestic or foreign problems since the election five months before. It is doubtful that any president entered the White House more unprepared than Truman. At the outset, at the outset, however, he had only to preside over the final conquest of Germany and Japan, for the plan of victory had been fixed and put into effect before he took office. On April 25th, Axis defeat was so assured that he addressed the United Nations Conference on International Organization at San Francisco, California. He urged creation of a strong and lasting organization that would make future peace not only possible but certain. On May 8th, he announced the surrender of Germany. In July, he authorized and later announced the virtual destruction of Hiroshima by the first atomic bomb. On August 14th, he announced Japan's capitulation. Truman's own legislative program, which he called the Fair Deal, and which proposed even more far-reaching domestic reforms than Roosevelt had sponsored, was first presented to Congress on September 6, 1945. It began the breakup of the artificial coalition which had backed Roosevelt through de depression and war years and which had offered its support to Truman on the assumption that he would lean toward the conservative side. side. Conservative elements of both Republican and Democratic parties, the latter principally from the South, blocked enactment of Truman's domestic program until he was eventually forced to abandon most of it. The pressure of foreign problems after 1947, as during Roosevelt's third term, gave Truman good cause for subordinating controversial domestic issues. Serious strikes in several heavy industries hampering, hampering production of consumer goods embarrassed the admittedly pro-labor administration. A politico-economic crisis occurred in August 1946 when a railroad brotherhood strike threatened to tie up national transportation. Truman asked Congress for a law to draft into the armed services anyone refusing work to refusing to work in industries taken over by the government. His request embittered certain labor leaders even though Congress refused to grant it. Another significant labor event in 1946 was the government's injunction to prevent a coal strike. When John L. Lewis, head of the United Mine Workers of America, 
ignored the order. He and his union were assessed fines totaling more than $3 million by a federal court. Okay. The Cold War, Korea. These domestic problems, however, dwindled into insignificance as Truman tried to tackle the Russian problem. In July 1945, he had met the British and British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and Premier John Joseph Stalin of the USSR at Potsdam, Germany, for a discussion of post-war problems. Prospects for mutual understanding seemed favorable at the time, but the amenity did not last. As the USSR became increasingly recalcitrant, increasingly recalcitrant, and then openly hostile. Truman was forced to ask for the resignation of Henry Wallace as Secretary of Commerce. On September 12, 1946, Wallace had delivered a speech in New York City undermining Secretary of State James Burns' position vis-a-vis Russia at the Paris Peace Conference. Truman nominated West Harriman, former ambassador to Moscow, to replace Wallace. When Harold Ix resigned as Secretary of the Interior in a dispute with the White House over oil tidelands, Truman replaced him with J. Krug <laughs> on the resignation of Burns. Truman was named General George Marshall Secretary of State. Random page. Another natural diuretic is dandelion tea. Drink two times a day to remove the excess water that causes bloating. Or boil juniper berries in a pot of water and drink about four ounces of dilution after it cools. Yarrow and bear berry teas were also regular used regularly to remove excess fluid. If you have kidney trouble, Eat too much salt, have low blood pressure, or circulation disorder, you could be plagued by water retention. Why not try a variety of these teas yourself, once or twice a day, for a few weeks? You may use them along with any physician prescribed treatment. And we got a verse, Numbers 11.5. We remember the fish we ate in Egypt the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. Eyes. A soothing eye wash was made from flowers of uh, elder plant. Papyrus, which once grew in abundance along the Nile, was used to make ropes, fibrous sandals, sailcloth, and mats. Okay, one page from this. confidence. If we feel awkward around other people, particularly in unfamiliar social settings, we can find ourselves relying on liquid courage. Alcohol relaxes our inhibitions, so it, um, inhibitions, so it works at first. <laughs> Before long, <laughs> Before long, the drinking catches up with us. Feeling friendly and outgoing after one drink can turn into being a mess after too many. Dutch courage is impossible to control. As you change your drinking, you may need to discover how to be confident around other people without alcohol. Trust us when we say, you can do this. You can learn to unlock the confidence you already have. We got a quote here. I have to be real now, but I also know that I won't make a fool of myself. That knowledge in itself gives me confidence. What does confidence look like? You walk into a crowded room, all eyes turn to you. You smile, you approach the most important person in the room and engage them in a sparkling conversation. If this is your mental image of what social confidence looks like, you might be setting yourself up to fail. In reality, confidence comes in much smaller packages. Okay. 
One page from each. Till next time.